My name is Diane Victor and um, this is just part of the body of work that goes towards Witch Hunt, which is a very open title, which has a humorous underbelly to it and, and multiple readings, which hopefully reflects the fact that all of these elements are part of the show. There's multiple readings held together by the overview of, of violence against women in our society, the imbalance of power in not only our society but globally, and um, the witch hunts that arise or that um, are very prevalent at the moment and to a large extent long overdue, but at the same time the world has a history of witch hunts and they can always be misused and, and go to the extreme where they become a persecution. Historically, in fact, women generally in certain um, countries with, with um, better track record of justice are in a better position than they were almost forever. I mean, the, the killing of witches in the West, the, the, the general killing of women has been an ongoing thing. I mean, it, it's, it's nothing new. I'm someone who's very driven by the processes and often the content of my work is quite open and flexible and is driven by the process or the accidents that the process or my incorrect use of that process allows. So in, in this body of work, as I said, there's, there's ash drawings and there's smoke drawings and there's um, ash generated from the burning of currency. The power of the image as opposed to and I, I sometimes think it's got to do with the fact that we are still very sight orientated. It's quite primitive. You can tell someone something really horrific and they can internalize it and deal with it and move on. But one powerful image and you can't switch it out of your head. I can't. The reason why I started doing the series was because I needed to draw the images out. It was my, my own personal purging or a kind of a coping strategy for things I can't fix. I can't make it better. But I draw it, and by drawing with it, I process it and I deal with it. I also felt for this show specifically to work with violent images against women would not have been... We're all aware of what happens. It's trying to approach it from a different angle. Again, speaking about male power and imbalance of power. It's to be a thorn. It's to, to rattle a comfort zone to a point where you get a reaction because a reaction is better than indifference. Indifference doesn't change things. If anything of it asks questions, that's all I'm doing is trying to ask questions and trying to rattle people slightly out of their, fi if they have a fixed way of thinking and saying you cannot, there are no fixed, there's no fixed anything in the world. Everything is changing so fast. And yet at the same time, it's historically, it stays the same. The problems, the damage is still there.